stealing from your parents, losing your children, selling your bodies, men and women, selling their bodies for, for their addiction, on and on and on, the stuff that happens brings an incredible amount of shame and guilt. The only thing that can handle that void is Jesus Christ. He has to come into their lives. He has to make the changes. So that is why our graduates' success rates over 70%. I stayed on people's couches. I slept in cars. You know, I committed petty crime, you know, to fuel my habit. And I got married in that whole season of life at age 18. And uh, my wife, Lisa, um, shortly after we were married, gave her heart to Christ and was radically transformed. And my drug abuse and alcohol consumption, you know, escalated to the point where our marriage was in crisis. We found ourselves at Calvary Chapel, Bangor, Maine. It was only about two or three weeks of going to that church where I surrendered my life to Jesus Christ. And I'm really thankful for Ken because he didn't just teach on Sunday. He wrapped his arm around me, became a spiritual dad to me, included me in his life. Real discipleship is sharing your life with somebody. These people in residential discipleship are here to live with us. They're not just here to be together. We've invited them. Come live with us. Now let's go, let's do life together. We'll show you how you handle bad days and good days. We'll show you how we, we uh, we'll show you how to handle busted finger bones. And we'll, we'll just go through these things together with you. We will teach you and we will show you. So it is, this is parenting, you know, the verbal instruction, but also with the daily demonstration, consistent demonstration that this is what we do. This is what this principle looks like. I'm the director of CRD's women's program. Um, I have a history of addiction. I grew up with a wonderful family, but went off on the deep end and I was a full-fledged drug addict, crackhead, in the methadone clinic, and was homeless. And that's where I was when uh, I came here into the program. I'm, I'm a graduate of this program, and I know the hopelessness. I know that when you're done using for the night and the drug wears off, I know the feeling. And there is hope in Christ there's hope in His Word, and that's what we do here, that's who we are, is we just want to introduce addicts to Jesus. We want to bring them freedom through a relationship with Him in, in His Word.